everyone welcome back to my channel code with Afiz and my name is Afizullah Masoodi and this is a new tutorial on how to uh, create multiple authentication system in Laravel framework but before we start I want to say guys that if you didn't have subscribed to my channel uh, please first subscribe to my channel uh, because it will motivate me and I will be uploading more videos for you guys and if you have any suggestions or anything you want to say to me you can reach me with this email so guys let's start first of all let's open our browser and in the browser we want to go to laravel.com because we want to download a fresh laravel project so in here we have to go to the documentation so in here, uh, uh, in this uh, version list, uh, we want to work on uh, Laravel 7. So I will select Laravel 7.x. So if we come to the bottom, and uh, not this far, yeah, we need this command, copy it and open a new CMD window. And let's go to our uh, VAMP folder which is in C and ramp 64 slash www and press enter and now we want to paste the command and we want to name our project multi auth and press enter and guys uh, this will take some time uh, and uh, when it is finished I will be back so guys uh, our project has been successfully downloaded now let's go to our project folder and for that we can say cd multi -op. and press enter and now let's open it in our code vs code editor code space dot and enter as you can see guys this is our project uh, files and uh, first of all let's go to our public folder and copy this hd.htaccess file copy and, and paste it in the root directory of project and after that we also need to copy this index.php and paste it in the root directory of our project and uh, as we are already in here let's also connect these links by removing the the dots save it and close it now let's go to our browser and open our project but before that we have to start our ramp server so in here we can see localhost slash multi auth as you can see our laravel uh, framework project is working fine but the problem now we have uh, because we copied the two files from public folder to the root directory for project uh, it has some security issues uh, for example now we have access to .env file from the url if you write here .env and press enter you can see it shows all the information in here so to uh, prevent uh, this problem, we have to write some code in .htaccess file. So open uh, files tag and .env and close it. And inside the files tag, uh, we have to say order no comma deny and we have to say deny from all and if you come to the browser and refresh as you can see now it prompts us and it doesn't give us access to that file so let's go back uh, okay now let's go back to the documentation and in here we want to go to front end and front end the folder and if you come to the bottom let's copy this command and go back to terminal and paste it and press enter 
So guys, uh, our Laravel user interface has also been successfully installed. Now let's get back to the documentation and copy this code for installing Bootstrap. Paste it here and press enter. After that, we also want Vue.js and uh, besides that, we also want our authentication system to be installed. So for that, paste it this line of code in our command prompt. Now, uh, after this, as you can see, both have uh, given us the message to npm install or npm run dev but uh, I prefer using yarn instead I, I have a uh, yarn installed in my operating system so I will be using yarn because it is uh, much faster than npm so we have to just uh, write yarn and press enter it will install all the dependencies uh, that comes uh, with package manager So guys, uh, the dependencies, all the dependencies uh, are also installed successfully. Now let's uh, run yarn, yarn run watch or either uh, dev. Uh, but before we run this command, let's go to our code, close this file and come to the resources, views, layers and app link because in here we want to change this script link by declaring public folder in here because we copied uh, the .ht access and, and index file from the public folder to the root directory so we need to uh, bring some changes to the links and we also want it in here and uh, let's also cut this script from the top to the bottom of the script and also remove this default because the Vue.js code won't work if uh, we declare this script as default save it and close the file and now let's jump back to our browser and if we refresh as you can see we have these two uh, newly created links one of them is our login form and second is register uh, the styles uh, aren't working because we didn't have compiled our styles uh, or our SAS code so for that we have to go to terminal and press enter for the yarn run dev command So guys, uh, the files are successfully compiled. Now, if we refresh, as you can see, the styles are working just fine. So guys, now is the time uh, that we start working on our multiple authentication system in Laravel. And uh, for that, uh, I will just install a package to make our work easy. And the package name is Lara Trust. Let's click on this introduction layer trust and we have to choose the version 5.2 and if we come to the installation let's copy this command and go back to our terminal and paste it press enter it will take some time guys uh, I will pause the video and uh, when it is finished I will be back so guys, after installing a ladder trust, uh, let's come back to documentation and copy this provider and get back to our code and in here we have to go to config app.php and at the bottom paste it in here. Come back to the documentation and copy this alias. Get back to the code and get down here and paste it close the file now after copying these two let's create our window files copy this command and go to terminal and paste it and press enter 
Now after publishing our render files, let's clear the config. And in the documentation, we go to usage menu and middleware. And we have to copy these three middlewares and come back to code. And we have to go to app, http and kernel.php. And we have to paste it at the bottom. Close the file. Now after these, uh, we have to go to terminal and create our Lara Trust migration. So for for that we have, we can say php artisan Lara Trust column migration and press enter and uh, enter again and uh, after that let's migrate but before we migrate let's go to app providers and app service provider and in here we have to use illuminate backslash support backslash facades backslash schema and in the boot method we have to say schema column column the default string length should be 191 and semicolon and uh, the reason that I did this is because uh, in some cases uh, Laravel migration doesn't work and that is due to uh, the country or the region that uh, we live in so I'm living in a country that uh, I have some problems with the migrations so I have to uh, write this code every time when I work with the uh, Laravel migrations or it will throw an error so close this file and now let's say php artisan migrate in our terminal and press enter oh so first let's create our database we have to go to localhost slash php my admin and enter let's create a new database by the name of multi auth and the collation should be utf8 unicode ci create and get back the code and open dot env file and in here just change the database name to multi auth and the username is root and i don't have any password for my php my admin now let's run our migrations again and this time hopefully it will work press enter yeah it worked so guys after running our migrations let's create a model uh, for our role and permission and we can say php artisan make column model first of all we need for our role and dash mc because we also want a migration for our roles and also controller for our roles so press enter now we want to create a model also for our permission so for that we have to say php artisan make column model and this time permission and again dash mc press enter okay guys after uh, creating our models let's get back to the Lara trust documentation and uh, in here let's go to configuration and model row let's copy this line of code get back to our code and in app open role model and instead of uh, laravel model let's paste our code and also copy this Lara trust role and our role model extends Lara trust role save it and close it open permission and get back to documentation of Lara trust open model permission 
copy this line code and paste it instead of eloquent model copy its name also and paste it instead of model get back to the documentation and this time open model user and we want this trait also in our user model so here after notifiable we have to use our trait in the user class also so we can say use layer trust user trait semicolon So guys, uh, this was all for the configuration of our models. Now let's get back to the terminal and run composer dump operator to prevent any errors. And after uh, composer dump overload, let's create a Lara Trust seeder. So for that, uh, if we go to the documentation, and come to the not users configuration and seeder as you can see we have to copy this code and paste it in the terminal and press enter okay the seeder has been installed or created successfully now let's run this composer dump overload again paste it and press enter and let's also copy this line of code and go to our code and uh, in here in database folder seeds and this time database seeder we have to paste it in here to call the ladder trust seeder class which is this one to run our seeders so close it close this one also and uh, that's all the configuration that we need for now Let's also create our user types uh, that how many or how, uh, which kind of users that we want in our project. And for that we have to go to our config and Lara Trust or not Lara Trust, Lara Trust Seeder. As you can see this is the role structure for all the roles that we want to create. So we suppose we want uh, four kind of users in this project. The first one should that we want is administrator. The second one that we want, uh, for example, should be director. The third one should be manager. And let's copy this one. And the fourth one should be employee. We don't need this permission structure. So let's remove this one. Save it. And yeah, that's all we need. So let's get back to our command prompt. And this time we can say PHP artisan db seed to create all the users, all the relationships, everything we need. So press enter. As you can see, uh, or everything is created successfully and now if we check our database refresh it and go to multi auth and go to users as you can see these are uh, the main users four kind of users that we created with our seeder file and if we go to the rules as you can see we have four kind of rules and permissions that we created are these so guys uh, this was all for this video and uh, in the next video we will probably uh, start working on our user interface because uh, we want to uh, manage uh, roles permissions and users uh, through user interface and make it easy for the customers or the users to use the system graphically so for now bye guys see you guys in the next video